I think in short, what's unique about Utah State's Aggie Chocolate Factory is that it is on a campus. We're the only one that I know of in the country that has a working, functioning, fully operating bean-to-bar chocolate manufacturing facility on a campus. It's incorporating it into the classes that we're teaching. It's giving the students a hand-on experience and actually learning how to make chocolate from bean-to-bar. It's not only a factory. The whole thing has a background of teaching and research. We developed this factory and not to sell chocolate, that's not our main objective. The factory was developed to provide learning experience to students and also to the community. There's not a lot of places you can actually go and learn how to make candy or learn how to make chocolate. Uh, that makes Utah State a little bit more unique than anywhere else in the country because we were actually willing to teach and to help you understand and to give you hands-on experience in making chocolate. There's all sorts of chemistry that's involved in it. I mean, would you rather learn chemistry in a chocolate lab or in a chemistry lab? You know, I hope that most people would say, well, wow, chocolate, of course. The Aggie Chocolate Factory gives us a unique weapon that go out and actually promote food sciences. And they know that there are kids that take this general broadening your depth class that, that are being persuaded that they might consider food science as majors and get into nutrition and things like that. And you know, that, that's a great weapon to have. It's, I would say it's an art and a science. There's both. Uh, and that's what is so fascinating. It's a combination, right? A lot of people do it by art, and, but there is, uh, without them knowing, there is a lot of science behind it. Silvana Martini has all the academic credential behind it to teach and to really dive deep into the histories of chocolate and the chemistry of chocolate and has a couple of tremendous TAs that could come in and help out too and to facilitate those labs. My goal would be to have Utah State to be recognized as the place where students come to learn confections, right? in, in particular chocolate making. Anyone that's going into food science, this is a really big thing. What employers are really looking for is that we have hands-on experience. It's that we know how to apply what we're learning. The Aggie Chaga Factory is awesome. I mean, everything about it, the design, the, the way that you could come and you can see every facet of the chocolate making process complete from bean to bar, it's unique. It'd be very hard pressed to find anywhere around us particularly that does this so visually open to the public. Chocolate hits everybody from about two to 102. There's, there's no like, here's your target audience. Our target audience is anybody who's breathing. And if you're breathing, you're gonna like chocolate. 